Part 6. Angles formed by two parallel lines and a transversal. You will find this on page 168 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, from this investigation, for the video on this investigation, please follow this link. So, from this investigation, we observe that when two parallel lines AB and EF are cut by a transversal RS, then corresponding angles are equal. Let's just highlight that. Alternate angles are equal if the lines are parallel and co-interior angles are supplementary. That means they add up to 180 degrees. The reverse for each of the above is also true. If two lines A, B and E, F are cut by a transversal R, S, if the corresponding angles are equal, then the lines will be parallel. If the alternate angles are equal, then the lines will be parallel. And if the co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees, then the lines will be parallel. Let's go through example 7. In the figure, AB is parallel to CD. Find the angles A, B and C. A, B and C. Now, always start at the angle given and see how you can transfer the information. So if I look at the angle, I say angle A, so look here, if you look at uh, marker F, do you see my F? So if this is 60, then this one, so angle A will be 60. Why? Because corresponding angles AB is parallel to CD. Then I will say angle C, now, now look here, I can either remember there's more than one way to come to the answer. So angle C is 60. Why? We can follow again that. Um, let's roll that, take another color. By, oh, let's just reverse this. By the Z. Alternate angles. So if this is 60, what will this also be? 60. Because alternate angles are equal if the lines are parallel. And now I just have a final one. And my final one, and uh, let me just, as you work it out, just fill it in. So basically, angle A was 60. Angle C is 60. And now, angle B. Do you see that this is a straight line? So basically, we can say B plus A will be equal to 180 degrees. Okay. Or we can say that this is, this is the one way. Or we can work with the U. I think here I worked with the U. By saying angle B plus the 60 will be supplementary, add up to 180 degrees. And then co-interior angles, and then I just work it out to get that 60 away from that side. So I just subtract 60, and I subtract 60 from this side, and that's how I find that the value of B is 120. Okay, I want you to do try now 7. Do it, and as soon as you stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's do try now seven. Okay, now if I look, I always start at the angle given. Now what angle is given? This 105. So if I look here, can you see my Z? Do you see? So I can say that angle X will be equal to 105. And what will be my reason? I will say alternate angles. And why? Because AB is parallel to CD. That will. Remember, it's not necessary to write the reason in the Namibian syllabus for the examination, but it's good practice to do that. Okay. Then we're going to look at number Y. So basically, we can again, let's just clean this. We can again work with the 105. But now we can say, I'm just going to take another color. Oh, this will also work. But can you see this is co-interior? So I can say, let's take it blue. So Y plus 105 will be equal to 180 degrees. And why? Because the interior... It's co-interior angles. And again, AB is parallel to CD. Okay. 
And then let's see if I can find the last one. I have X, I have Y, so now it's just Z. Now again, do you see? So that's the letter F. So I can say Z will be equal to 105. And what will I call that angles, degrees? That will be corresponding angles because A, B is parallel to C, D. And that's my final answer.